You're watching Discovery Channel. Hi, and welcome to Daily's Planet. I'm Corinna Huber. I'm Jay Ingram. We have another hot show today. So hot. We're even going to show you a flashover or two. We'll also tell you about a new pyramid discovered in my backyard. Kidding. It's in Egypt. We're going to get to that a little later, but it is time for a little built-in-your-backyard fun. And that is exactly the word we would use to describe the creations of the inventor in our first story, fun. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yawanda. Yawanda who? Yawanda, give me a job. <laughs> uh, okay, just call me. Talk about creative job hunting strategies. In order to eat, I need money. This video game animator has created his own walking, talking cover letter. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Um, you have a job for me? I'm looking for a job. But the virtual job pitch is just one of Yi Wei Wang's many creative outlets. My first love is art, uh, but I, I figure I was starved to death, you know, being an artist. So I actually tried to pursue the mechanical engineering, um, which I failed miserably. So what I ended up doing is going to school for uh, uh, 3D animation. Now those artistic skills help him create unique characters for the gaming industry. You build it and on the computer pretty much uh, a lot like sculpting. But his engineering skills haven't gone to waste. This is the Steam Rover here. It's a six-wheeled RC steam-powered uh, robot. Uh, this is the Steam Walker, again, steam-powered. And this is the trolley bike tank. I felt the urge to want to create something, you know, outside of the computer. And so I just started, started tinkering and, and started making uh, steam-powered robots. Combining radio control electronics. This is forward and reverse. It's proportional. With steam-powered engines for the local hobby shop. It's a real steam whistle. He's built a squad of hybrid bots. This one um, is two pistons, the double acting, double cylinder engine. The chassis here is uh, from a tank. The walker is made out of uh, pretty much entirely of um, erector set. Each steam bot has a gas tank. You fill with a camping stove fuel, basically a propane butane mix. The burning fuel heats water in a boiler. This is the boiler. Inside the boiler is a bunch of uh, flues, a bunch of tubes, basically, and heats up the, the water really fast. And when the water turns to steam, the pistons start pumping. It works just like the big thing, which is much, much smaller, but the principle is the same as a, you know, a big steam train. Radio-controlled helicopters are another passion. Tinkering with these machines has fueled e -Way's next flight of fancy. As I was working with these helicopters, um, I started to notice that as you're setting up the head, you always have to kind of do this kind of thing. And it's a very fast movement. It's very organic. And I always thought it looked like a head of a robot or something like that. Called a swash plate, the mechanism is designed to control the pitch of the blades. But in e -Way's world, gadgets tend to get turned upside down. On a helicopter, kind of oriented like this with a servo, it's a three servos on the, the base of the helicopter. And if you imagine the swash plate would be up here and these linkages would be controlling the swash plate, tilt and up and down like that. So for, for this one, what I did was actually just turn it upside down so the servos are actually on the body of this little critter. He calls it, what else? A swash bot. Most robots, you basically are programmed to do a certain move. You hit a button and it walks. Um, this is direct control. You kind of have to learn to, to use it a, a bit on the sticks. Um, but after that, it's a lot more interactive and fun. And more than fun, it's incredibly effective at creating what Yi Wei strives for in all his art a real sense of personality. With this, I can, you know, make it look pretty or organic because it's fast and I have direct control over it. So basically, uh, I'm trying to create a little bit of illusion of life. Uh, here's my latest. Uh, this is the tortoise. Um, it has four servos on it. One turns the head, one turns the legs in the front. 
Uh, one turns the legs in the back, kind of as a unison, and one kind of twists the body. The common thread for me is the character. I try to make uh, a machine that you look at it and you, you, you say, you know, that's cute. So whether he's building robotic critters or designing characters for a video game, the challenge is the same. They're like puzzles. I don't have a manual, I don't have anything. I just know that there's, there's some way that this can work. And it's up to me to, to try to work it out. So, call me. The International Space Station